it is clear that on the feast of the ascension the church is preparing us to launch the work of evangelization as commanded by our lord so the focus is really the mission ahead of us as his disciples we are to continue the work that jesus had begun but my dear brothers and sisters this work cannot yet begin until we are formed the work of formation entails two things not just doctrinal and spiritual formation it is a formation that comes through prayer intense prayer we have too many untrained soldiers in the church fighting for jesus the sword of secularism will kill them because they will not be ready to confront the challenges the positions of the world they will not be ready to give a reasonable answer for their beliefs in Christ for the truth of the gospel they think that serving in the ministry making the church vibrant full of activities itself is the mission these are means not the end and it's very important because the first thing we need to be clear of even before we begin the mission is to know what is this mission not about it is good that many of them are involved in humanitarian works certainly this is part of the gospel message but they think that the christian message is fulfilled when we cater to the physical and material needs of those who are poor and suffering they forget that the real gospel is directed not so much just to the restoration of the body but the salvation of souls it is the eternal life that we are offering these people we cannot reduce the christian gospel simply to just a very earthly restoration of this kingdom in jesus ascension to heaven jesus is telling us this is where we will be a kingdom that transcends space and time a kingdom that transcends nationalities race culture the gospel is for all of humanity it's both for the body and the soul don't forget about the soul if our hope is only in this life we are missing out the real gospel we need to work in communion with each other all must have the same vision and same mission otherwise we'll be doing many things but it is not for the gospel it is not for the salvation of souls we are not bringing about establishment of the real kingdom of god unless all of us we understand what this mission is all about then we will know what formation we need what kind of theological foundation we must have in order to motivate us correctly without proper theological foundation then our motive in serving the church is purely humanitarian it is important that we collaborate with each other that we nurture the gifts that the lord has given to all of us in the body of christ it is never about my organization my choir my ministry it is about the one mission and so it is very important that together as a body of christ we must empower each other encourage each other nurture the gifts of each other no one has a monopoly of gifts and all these gifts have to be brought together so that it can build up the body of christ this is the only way we must proceed if we want truly the mission of jesus to be realized 
on this earth. And finally, the most important, we need to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit come upon us only for those who pray. 